Hello, we are Team 8680 Kraken Pinion. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jack. And we're from 7974 Great Scott. Hello, I'm Derek from Era 418. Um, hello, I'm Steven, from, also from 418. I'm Matthew. And my name is Thomas. And we're from Team 16460, the Gearheads. We're located in Brookfield and go to Brookfield Central High School. Um, we're going to show you guys what our initial concepts are for our 30-hour build. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. First, alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. So the first concept we have is a, uh, a three pivot arm that's going to be attached with this claw. That claw is going to help us lift up the cones and drop them onto all the uh, different levels of pillars. All right, and uh, well, when we were searching around of trying to find a solution for this, what we did was we took out all the sheets and there's a bunch of uh, sheets of paper below this and we uh, wrote down a bunch of concepts and then we tried to decide uh, which one was the easiest to do in the shortest amount of time and we arrived at the three pivot arm because we had the resources to do it and we thought we could program and build it in time for the uh, 30 hour deadline. We're using a lot of parts from our previous year. So last year, this was our uh, capstone arm claw. So we're trying to reuse a lot of the parts and a lot of the same concepts so we can save time. Hello, we are team 8680 Kraken Pinion. And for our power play 30 hour robot design, we're improving on our Skystone design from a few years ago, where we used a double reverse four bar, which was a bit janky. It didn't quite hold the weight of the sky stones uh, well enough without like moving uh, when we didn't want it to. But these pieces are a bit lighter, and we're also beefing up the metal that's like holding it, so it should be a lot smoother. Corey, do you want to show them? Yeah. So currently, what we have is when we actuate the motor, it goes up, yep. which will allow us to deposit the scoring elements over top of the poles. Right. So we can, and we'll design something to catch and release them so we can drop them down in the poles. Uh, additionally, we're using a smaller drivetrain. It's roughly 12 by 12 inches uh, to allow for easier navigation between the poles so that we can navigate around the field quickly and without hitting them to score as fast as we can. Yeah, and the drivetrain is something we designed last year. Uh, it has the arc to go over last year's barriers, but this year we have like the small black, what are they called? The the, the, the little depots. Yeah, the yeah. little black things you can put a cup on, so we can just strafe over those pretty easily without getting stuck. Um, yeah, so these this one do isn't powered right now because we don't have a motor in there, but eventually these will both be connected and we'll have some kind of intake-outtake system on this side that'll like go over and be able to deposit onto the poles. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jack. And we're from 7974 Great Scott. We're going to be showing you some of the primary functions and goals of our robot during the Robot in 30 Hours. So our current strategy, as you see here, is um, this is our drivetrain from last year, which we're reusing. Our freight frenzy system essentially was an active intake and bucket that we then raised. Now, given that we're also raising things, on the field during this challenge, power play, we've decided to reuse our system for the lift, but instead use a claw to pick up and place the objects. Jack, would you like to talk more about this? All right, so we have actually uh, asked uh, our generous friends, uh, Gearheads, to borrow their claw that they used last year, which we are gonna be using on our robot. Claws are down this there the themselves. Claw, yes. We're currently 3D printing the parts necessary to put down the rest of it, but what will happen is we Let's drive up to the up. cone and it com comes in here. Then we have the claws which come in from the back here and allow it to pick it up. 
we have it mounted on a servo, which will be mounted to this section specifically here, but is also mounted lower with this beam. Now what will happen is, one issue that we ran into is when the claw is holding the cone and we want to raise it up and bring it over, um, it'll end up being upside down. Now according to Game uh, Manual 2, that's not a valid strategy. So what we have, built by Shervin back here, is a system that takes the claw and rotates the entire mechanism to make it aligned to go on the rods. Hello, I'm Derek from Era 418. Um, hello, I'm Steven, from, also from 418. And uh, here we've got a super scientific diagram of our strategy this year. We were, we were thinking that we'd intake these cones on their side instead of straight up because it would use less space vertically and that would make it a little easier to design. And then after that, the cone would go into a little box. It would be raised by this slide. And at the very top, because we can't, we can't score the cones on their side, we would probably just use a small servo, tip them all over, and place them on top of the uh, yellow springs. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our other 30-hour build videos on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. FIRST alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in FIRST are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.